When students walk through these doors in August, they'll be entering the new Drew Freeman Middle School in Suitland. It's one of six new schools opening in Prince George's County this school year. Natasha Kyler is the principal. I'm looking forward to utilizing every inch and even outside of the building to just enrich them. The new schools are being made possible by a first in the nation public private partnership or P3 program. It was pushed through by County Executive Angela also Brooks, who acknowledged there was some community opposition to the way the school schools were being financed. What we were not going to do is to continue to cough, hesitate, make excuses, complain, point fingers. We're going to build schools for children that are reflective of their dignity. By partnering with the private sector, the schools were able to be built quicker in just two and a half years. The price tag more than one billion dollars over 30 years. A second phase of the program will bring eight more schools. You can see that the school was designed with a very open concept that is throughout the building and safety is a top concern from cameras throughout the building to also security measures in the classroom. That includes panic buttons and locks that will enable teachers to put their classrooms on lockdown. We have precious cargo in these buildings. Uh, and we want to make sure, make certain that we keep them safe. Students will have state-of-the-art classrooms with smart boards, science, technology, engineering, art, and math labs, a new gym, open space dining area, and many other special features. Student bathrooms do not have outer doors, and there are gender-neutral options. We want to make sure is that students can solely focus on learning and being here and not worried about stigma or anything else. Work is still underway in some classrooms and some of the new schools like Walker Mill have a ways to go. <laughs> school officials say five of the six will be ready when school starts August 28th. In Prince George's County, Darcy Spencer, News 4. Now the new Colin Powell Academy in Fort Washington will not be ready until after Thanksgiving. Students who are supposed to go there will start the year at other schools before transitioning in.